All right, guys, we're about to watch Dungeons and Dragons, but I'll show you guys these cool things they gave us. A poster, but you can't really see that best. I'm trying to, you know, what I'm saying. And they gave us a, I think this is a map. I'm so sorry, I'm not really sure what this is. Beyond. D and D, Dungeons and Dragons. And the theater we're at before it starts rolling. So I watched this with my dad once again. We watched, uh, what you would call it, John Wick 4 together. We watched this movie together. And I'm super, super excited to watch this film. I mean, I was kind of interested to be honest, but not really. But it's Chris Pine, love Chris Pine, Michelle Rodriguez, some really good star cast. This looks kind of a funny, raunchy kind of film that doesn't take itself too seriously. There are some decent things about it. So, as always, I'll let you guys know our reaction as soon as we get out of theater. So, peace out. See you guys then. So, we just got out seeing Dungeons and Dragons Under the Monk Thieves. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it was. That's two hours of my life I can never <laughs> get back. <laughs> Honestly, I'd give it a six. It has some good visual effects. It has some good story stuff, good one-liners and zines, whatever. But there's just so many fucking. <laughs> so basically, characters were interesting, but there are a lot of crazy moments. I liked. Um, it had different species. Mm -hmm. It wasn't all just humans, and they were unique in their own way. It seemed like. I agree. Cole is being a. Dungeons and Dragons fan, mm -hmm. they all played Never in a game. Mm -hmm. It's like they're trying to cram as much stuff as they could into the movie mm -hmm. instead of only less is more. Yeah. Some of the story points were kind of like, why? Yeah. There's a cameo in this film that did not need to be in the film. No. Yeah. I just. And, and I love the ending part. Well, this movie is good for kids, yes. young adults, yes. good for them, but if you're going like, um, have a, a special movie thing, no, nah. do not, let me, let me say this specifically, do not take this movie seriously at all, period, don't, because if you walk in expecting the best for your life, oh, you'll be badly disappointed. This movie is, is is what you expect it to be. Yes. Predictable. But what you see in the post or anything else. Yeah. It's not anything that's going to surprise you or like that. This is a gen generic storyline. B for B. If you can see it, I got whole. Yeah. It's, it's not worth seeing in theater. It's not. Not like John Wick 4, which was like amazingly yeah. beautiful. Yeah. This is beautiful, but on a smaller scale, and it's not worth the 30 bucks where it was. No, yeah, no, no, no. So, I give it a five, you give it a six. We both say, watch on, watch on a video. Right, and this will take out for like a small kid to see it. Yeah. It'd be good for small kids, young adults. They will enjoy it. Mm hmm It's not the worst movie I ever saw. By any means? No, it's not that bad. Mr. I Frankenstein. Oh! Talk to your SP about that again. I still have nightmares. <laughs> I still have nightmares. Yeah, no, that movie is pretty bad. But, um. Yeah. So, hope you guys enjoy as always. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe for more. Peace. Bye bye.